Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines. I am TDAV1 and we are continuing on in this long recording session with this little city. I did say at the end of the last episode for um, for a name for this place, but it's gonna be um that's gonna take a couple of episodes for that to be a thing because I record these in bulk and that's if anyone ever comments anyway, so we shall find out. <laughs> We shall find out. Anyway, we're cracking on with trying to get this place up and running to the point where um, I can start being a little bit more adventurous with some little things and do some cooler little little tricks and tips and stuff. I am going to first and foremost. I don't want to build off this road because it's a main road a connector there. So I can just leave this road alone, it would be great. But the problem is, if I build off this road, it's going to put a lot of pressure on this junction here. I don't particularly want to do that. So what I'm going to have to do is I have to run a road through the middle here so it can cut the pressure down between the two junctions. So I don't want to make it a quicker route through there. So I'm going to have to do some squiggliness squiggly roads so that can go like that let's do that yeah let's do that that'd be fine won't it yeah that's good I'll take that and cool yeah that's that's something isn't it do we make that one way oh that's too close I don't like that I don't like it like I just don't like it That'd be a terrible junction to try and get out of in real life, but oh well. I don't have to deal with that, so I don't care. Uh, yeah, that's a cool little cold release sack. Do do a little bend in there, drag you into here somewhere, and yeah, that should be plenty. Yeah, I can't do any building though because power is going to be an issue and also water needs to be expanded as well. So I'm going to take the plunge and take a loan and pause the game straight away so I don't waste any of that loan money because it's going to start affecting my income. So we can do some power first and foremost. Coal power plant is the more efficient way of doing this. It it is, but I just don't want coal. Let's try and do it without coal, that would be nice. So, is that the way the wind's coming? It's that way. Yeah, that's interesting. I'll pop you. Goodbye, little rock. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> I'm going to double up the power, so we'll be going from 16 to 32. That'll be lovely, jubbly. And uh, then we can extend some water pipes. The water at the moment is not a problem. Just do some nice splurge and let's think about pathways again. So that right there looks like a park candidate to me, and that's pathway either side it would be great. So I'm gonna fill in this little circle there like that. Fill in you, 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 and you as well. Do that. And I'm going to I think there's enough room there for a path without disrupting anything so that'd be great and the game is going to want some more blue as well as so we can do blue I like doing commercial on main roads because it's fine it's also in walking distance for these if I was doing commercial as in a big commercial area I'd design it a little bit differently but for the starting areas I find this to be pretty fine 
Um, yeah, the game doesn't moan at you too much about doing it this way around. Try to leave a little bit gap from the roundabout because the roundabouts can be clogged up. So I'm just going to take that back one. And that should be fine. I'm going to leave that rock and not destroy it because that's kind of cool. In fact, yeah, I'm going to leave that rock because it's kind of cool. I rate that. It can be like, I don't know, a rock. We are rockwood. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay, I've okay, got rockwood. So, let's press the space bar, pop the two, and get some more people coming here. We are pretty close to being a worthy village. So, we can get some more districts and stuff. We'll get the second loan and then pay off the first loan because the second loan's interest is lower. We also get districts, fire department, police department, some unique buildings, and some policies and stuff as well that I'll be going through. And also, we can buy another bit of land, but we won't be doing that yet. We also get some industries and some other interesting stuff and talking about it we are there so I can just go through that self-sufficient buildings as well organic and local produce which is for your commercial districts some new policies when it comes to power and a couple of new buildings as well the next target will be tiny town that is where we get the park areas and that is where you can start booming the happiness in your city so your houses will upgrade and when they upgrade they can hold more people so your population grows without your city expanding if that makes sense you go upwards not outwards or in the case of these villages of uh, these little houses they turn into nice big large villas they look kind of cool so we're going to pause the game there we're going to do a little trick with the loans for you to pay that off take that so i now have 60k and i'm paying that much instead of that um, I do have to give back an extra 6k, but I don't care about that. That's cool. Interest is higher, but the weekly cost is lower, so that is fine. When it comes to industries, no. So we've now got zoning ability. Um, and with that, we will do a little zone here along this main road. And we will call. We'll do it roundabout to roundabout? Yeah, we'll do that. Do that. I probably don't want it to be a part of this road. I will change that eventually, but uh, we'll do that. Like that. You could be our first district, Highland District. I'm not sure that's the case, but sure game, whatever. Just de zone all that. I might grab this one actually and just a little bit fatter. There we go. Tidy that up a little bit as well when we go along. Don't need the roundabout and you don't need this road either. Boop, there we go. That is our first district. And with that you can do some different things if we wanted to we can make people have a speciality in self-sufficient buildings i click my knuckles i do apologize that is a force of habit but we're not going to do that because these houses are already built and that require rebuilding them also same goes for organi uh, organic and local bodies for our shops we're not going to be doing that that would cost as well because they'd have to rebuild all the shops so instead we can go into policies and we can just look at these these are the only policies we've got unlocked at the moment but eventually we're going to have all of these as well so currently no policies and i'm not interested in any of them at the moment later on i will click a couple of these down it's my way of playing and unique buildings we've unlocked this so we have to fill out requirements to get these throughout the time and we can have these in our cities and they bring in lots of entertainment and a lot of tourism and these as well we can bring in the little city arch but I don't have anywhere I fancy putting it yet so I'm not going to do that I could just stick it like there and 
I could just stick it there, to be fair. Or there. You know what, for now, the city arch is going there, I think. Can you go on that road? Can you get back? It will not go there. Oh, it will go there. Do want to do that. <laughs> for now. Um, yeah, why not? It's going to make a lot more walking traffic. You know what? That'll do. We'll get one of them in. I think if that a little boost to everyone who lives around it. I'm not sure it'll go up straight away, but it will help. City Arch. I would be pretty annoyed if I lived there because that is bright as anything and my window's right there. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'd be pretty annoyed. That shop would be pretty happy though because it's no longer to be a quiet corner shop if people come and visit this City Arch. Where are you going? You're going to the corner shop and you go from there. You've walked that far. If you don't walk past this shop, you've walked past two shops to go to a shop. That is dedication. I'll give it to you. Dedication. Right. Um, with that as well, you get some industry stuff, but I've got no specialist areas yet. Um, industries over here. So, yeah, I won't be worrying about that. I will just quickly zone in though. So, let's add some more residential. So, T. T for me. Haha, <laughs> T. Or J. Is there a J? Is a J. Is that the right way around? Or J. Is there a J? Is a J. Is that the right way around? That's the wrong way around. <laughs> Is that the right way around? What a complete donut. What a complete donut. Um, yeah, residential type. Actually, I'm going to throw in some services because that would be a good thing. And I'm going to throw them on the main road so they have quick access to a larger parts of the city. So if I put them on this road, they fill in that area of the city that would be the fire station. So they cover all of that. So if I plop them there, get a little bit further. Um, so I need to be plopping this here so we can be kind of close to want to pop over this side. Um, industry is more of a fire risk. And I'm not going to put two in a city quite yet because I don't need to. So I'm going to plop you just off the main road right there. That is quite a good little spot for you, I believe. Police, I don't want any criminals. And a criminal. So I'm going to pop that right in front of the shops. So no one's robbing any shops in my town. And we'll treat the people actually to a medical centre now. And that will be the other side of this rock. Rock is going to be surrounded by services. There you are. There you go, rock. It's like we're built into the rock. The medical centre goes in. Oh, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? It's not true. What a fancy little police station. On stilts. You know what I mean. It's on stilts. Anyway, so we've got that. Um, I do have money for a school. Well, I am going to pop a school in, but I'm got to think about where I want to put it. I want it this side of the road because that's where the residents are. I do want it down there in this cul de sac. Um, would that be a good decision? I don't know. Where's the place that I'm going to put a load of parts? Oh yeah, that's it. Can I squeeze you there? Come on, there. No. You fit there. Screw it, just go there. That is going to be the school. You can see all the happy faces. All of these are now starting to upgrade because they've got all happiness about them. And you are going to go in there. I'll slowly fill up the students. Police will cover that. That is great. We are pretty low on money now. Today I started to drain my weekly income. But it is fine because I have 
happiness will be going up. So we'll be getting upgrades of houses and that will give us more people. So it's cool. Right, the game is crying out for some more residents. What you want to be careful is if you zone too fast, you can get death waves. So a lot of these sieves, I'm going to call them a sieves. I'm going to call them sieves, they're not sieves. But a lot of these simulated people, yeah, so sims, well enough. Um, they all come in at the same age, so if you build up too quickly, they're all going to die at the same time, so you then get a death rate. So try to stagger the way you build residency uh, housing is important. I'm going to call this the end of this episode, uh, episode 2. Uh, I, don't know, I have no idea how long I've been recording, I should have timed it to be honest. Anyway, this is episode two. I hope you're enjoying it. We're slowly plodding along. Try and get a nice little, nice little view of the city without poop in the right in the way. There we go. We're getting there. We're slowly getting there. I'm rambling my way through this. So yeah, thank you very much. I've been TW1. Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace out.